Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about memory installation, match pairs, speeds, how to install them, which slots to use, all that kind of stuff. As usual, no BS, no fluff. Let's get right into it. Here we go. All right, I recorded this video previously. I'm going to walk through step by step and show you exactly how to install them properly uh, and the different tips and tricks for it. So let's go. It won't be a long video. We're going to get right into it. So as you can see here, I have an old motherboard that I used previously. I'm showing you the memory slots that are installed. I'm pointing out the um, actual little locking clips that are on each side. You'll have one on each side of the motherboard and we'll go through it. Um, I prefer actually also to have the board in a nice safe spot with clear lighting like I have here. I utilize the motherboard box to have the motherboard on. You can also utilize the anti-static plastic that comes with it with the black kind of grid lines on it. Sometimes it's just a dark silver or sheet gray. Um, and, and you can lay that on top of the board and it allows, allows some flex, but not a lot. It's a nice, firm, stable uh, anti-static platform to be working on your motherboard on. So make sure you do that and you have a nice, safe working area, even where an anti-static ESD, ESD strap app that will help as well if you don't know what those are i uh, will refer you to some other uh, links in the description below let's continue on uh, so i'm pointing out the two clips here and uh, i'm going to go ahead and just secure the memory sometimes the memory likes to pop up and, and out sometimes it's under a little bit of pressure so um, i actually just kind of resting my hand on top of it as i push the clip you can see it pops up there and then i'm resting my fingers here again on the clip and we're going to go ahead and just pop that one free as well so it doesn't fly out we're going to slide it out because it's in channels in here it's sitting in like a little a little home. Uh, this is some older RAM that I was using, some Ripjaw Gaming RAM. And I'm going to pause it here because I'm going to show you these little uh, channels here that the memory slit sits in. So there's this little slit here. And on each side, you want to make sure that these corners actually slide into them. Um, that was the memory I was using. So right here, I'm pointing out, if you actually read on the memory, there's a sticker somewhere on either side of your RAM uh, where it'll say uh, which speed. So this is actually some DDR1600 uh, 1600 that I was using and uh, some older DDR3 RAM. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the second slot now. And as you can see, too, as I'm going through it, there's a blue slot. These are in the blue slots and some black slots. And I'm going to explain the difference between those um, as the video goes on here. All right, so that's a proper memory uh, removal. If you're removing your RAM or upgrading your RAM, you took that RAM out. Now you need to put some new RAM in. Maybe it's a new board and you're installing new RAM, okay? This video is good for both. So... Uh, what you want to do is actually look for on your motherboard manual and see which slots are actually the primary slots. It'll tell you how to properly run dual channel. As you can see here, this is a dual channel board for DDR3 or DDR4, DDR5, whatever you're using. Um, and you want to make sure you're you're running it in the proper dual channel slots with the proper dual channel um, mode. So what, what you need to do is actually refer to your manual, look on the motherboard itself, and it'll actually show you. You can see dual channel DDR3 here. And you can see that there's four slots. There's two that are black and two that are blue. And that's for a reason. The motherboard will actually refer to you to say is put the slots in A2 and B2 is what I actually had them in. So for this board in a dual channel mode with two pairs of uh, two uh, matched pair of memory with two sticks, if I'm going to run dual channel, it didn't want me to use the first two slots, uh, this blue, black and blue one. It, or, uh, it didn't even want me to use the black one here in the first slot and the third slot that was black to match the colors. It actually wanted me to run uh, slot A2 and B2 uh, to actually get the two sticks of RAM to properly run in dual channel mode for this motherboard. Now, other motherboards uh, may have you run dual channel mode in the two uh, black slots here, which would be uh, A1 and uh, B1. Um, some motherboards will also just have you run the first two slots and color code them accordingly. So the color coding is not only the way to go about it. You need to refer to the manual and look at your motherboard and the writing on it and make sure you're running your memory in dual channel mode uh, appropriately. Now, if you're running quad channel, you would just populate all four of the memory slots. So you'd want to make sure that all of these tabs are open or the two tabs that you're going to be utilizing to install the RAM is, is open. And so like I'm pointing out here, make sure you read on the motherboard your DIMM configuration and dim numbers so this one just says dim so it actually wanted me to use dim 2 and dim 4 or on some boards like i said uh that would be a2 b2 not r2 d2 okay bad joke so what i'm pointing out here is that you want to make sure they're in those homes again those 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 little slits there before you push down, you also want to make sure uh, that when you're installing the RAM that the slit in the memory module uh, is it's offset. So you want to make sure you're using the long side on the proper side and the short side on the other side or the RAM will crush and you will damage it. 
before pushing down like you see me here. Uh, as you can see, I pushed down and it snail snap itself shut. You can gently push down and you'll see it snap shut on its own there. It's nice and secure. I'm making sure these tabs are open. We're gonna slide them into the slits here. We're making sure this little tab here lines up, the long side here, the short side here, and we're gonna push down until it clicks. Push down here on this side until it clicks. That is a proper memory. You're gonna make sure they're seated as well. Uh, and it looks good. So that is a proper memory installation and, and all the details to go through it. There's a lot of little uh, tips and tricks there that if you don't know, you can damage it or really screw up your RAM or run them in a slower mode and not get your performance. I hope this video helped you out to make sure your memory's running in top performance, you're using match pairs in the right slots and running your dual channel or quad channel mode. I'm Draco Ray here to help the gaming community and I'll see you next time.